I do not believe it is permanently blue. Um, I certainly am not naive to realize that all of our statewide offices are blue. Um, our elections have been trending that way. We do have demographic shifts, so we are uh, challenged by that. However, I believe that we have seen new laws that are so much more extreme than the majority of Virginians, right? So it's one thing to put in place a party that generically believes certain principles. It's another thing to watch them take them to the ultimate conclusions, right? So uh, we might be a state that is Let's, let's even say we're slightly more pro-choice than pro-life, if you just asked on a generic basis. But we're not a state that supports taxpayer funding for abortion. We're not a state that supports abortion not done by a doctor. We're not a state that supports absolutely no parameters around that. So now we've seen what happens when you elect people that are pro-abortion minded and they take laws to the extreme. Are we really, as a commonwealth, okay with that? I don't think that we are. And the question is just, um, when and how does that play out? I just don't, I mean, we've seen what happens at all the logical extremes. Um, and I think Virginia has, in general, not been a very extreme state on either side. Even when it was red, I would say, compared to an Alabama or some of the southern states, we were not radically pro-life. We had modest, reasonable restrictions. So I don't, I just think Virginians have tended to be centric in nature, maybe red, maybe blue, but more in the center zone. And now we've had a government that's been very, very, very far to the extreme on the left. And so I would like to believe there will be a reaction. I hope it is this year, um, myself. <laughs>